All right, children, welcome back for the session. Uh, lesson 11, we're still looking at alcohol. So whatever you're doing, children, settle down. Keep whatever that won't be distracting you. Keep it away from you. So we're still looking at alcohol, children. And remember last time I left with some little work. Let's start by reviewing that simple activity I left with. Aha, uh -huh, those are a few questions left with. Remember you're looking at alcohol? Aha, uh -huh, get your pencil. Mark, so I left with those questions. Question number one is what is alcohol? We said alcohol is any liquorless liquid drug that makes one drunk if taken in excess. It's a colorless liquid drug, substance that makes one drunk if taken in excess. Good. Question two, to mention any two types of alcohol. We said we have two main types of alcohol. That is methanol and ethanol. Or we said we can call it methyl and ethyl. So any of the two is right. Question three, which of the two types of alcohol makes one blind when taken? We say this is going to be methanol. Question four, how is alcohol used for to medical workers? We said medical workers use it to stylize medical instruments. Uh -huh. And last question, to give a reason why people drink alcohol. Of course, we looked at several of them, but you can check with mine here. Passing time, quenching thirst, socialize, getting strength, because of peer influence, and many others. Fine. If you got all the numbers right, bravo and us great children. So we are continuing with our alcohol topic. And today, we're going to look at the ways of producing alcohol. And by the end of this lesson, you definitely get to know the ways of producing alcohol. Two, you are going to know those crops which are basically used in producing alcohol. Three, you are going to be able to give me examples of those alcoholic drinks produced by each of the methods we shall be looking at. Fine. We'll start with the first one here. Our first session here. Production of alcohol, preparation of alcohol. Can you think of any method used in Uganda to produce alcohol, to prepare alcohol? Have you ever seen people preparing alcohol in your community? Think of that method. Do you have any in your mind? Let me check if you got right. Uh -huh. So, do you think you have it right? We're saying we have two methods used to produce alcohol. And these are, the first one is fermentation. The third word is fermentation. And the second one is distillation. We have two methods of producing alcohol children. There's what we call fermentation and distillation. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of fermentation? That's our second session here. What's to ferment something? Can you think of the meaning of the word fermentation? An idea? I've given one minute. Think about it. So what does fermentation mean? Let's check with my idea. So we're saying that fermentation is the process of making alcohol by changing the sugar in the fruit, juice, and cereals into alcohol by the help of yeast. Remember yeast is a fungus? We looked at it in P5 children. So this yeast is very vital in production of fermented alcohol. So fermentation process is the process of making alcohol by changing the sugar in the fruit juices and cereals into alcohol. Now, examples of some of the fruits used in the production of alcohol, of course, there are very many, depending on the particular communities. We have purples, we have got grapes, we have sweet bananas, and many others. Example of the cereals used in production of alcohol, there's maize, there's millet, there's sorghum, there's barley, and others, of course. But these are some of the commonest we use in our community to produce alcohol. And uh, we are saying that the yeast in this process will be help to make the fermented process faster but remains unchanged. So in other words, it's going to be a catalyst. This yeast is a fungus which is going to produce an enzyme we call zymase, which acts as a catalyst. It speeds up the process of fermentation. Now in this process of fermentation, when somebody breaks up through the process of fermentation, carbon dioxide gas is going to be produced and energy also will be produced. So remember we said that fermentation, the process of turning the sugar and the fruit juice, and the cereals into alcohol. So you just have to get the sugar in the fruit juices uh, together with the water and we make alcohol. It's as simple as that. So you can also actually try it, but don't try to drink that alcohol. So just a matter of getting some of the few fruits there, you can get 
purpose, you can get bananas, squeeze them up, and then leave them to ferment. So long as you add in some yeast. Now, this yeast can be got from millet or sorghum. If you are going to get that sorghum and millet, you put on that stuff which you have, the bananas you have squeezed, keep it somewhere for a few days. It automatically turns into alcohol, but don't drink it because children don't drink alcohol. Fine. Let's look at examples of the drinks which are produced by fermentation. Can you think of any drink which can be produced by fermentation process? Check with mine. Uh huh. You could have heard of some of the, some of some, the local names we have here. So remember, these are local names, some of them. And different communities have got different names. It's what we call Mwengevi Gere, what we call Tonto. Uh, which tribe do you think takes Tonto? Yeah, it is common in the Baganda. It's coming from the bananas. Then there is what we call Marua, or what we call Ajono. Ajono is coming from millet or sorghum. This is what we call Kwete. This one can be got from cassava and maize. This is what we call Mananasi. This is coming from pineapple. That's very simple. This is what we call Omoramba. This one can be got from sorghum. Then the beer, which is very common, is got from oats, is got from barley and other cereals. Even wine. Wine is also an alcoholic drink. Some of you may think that's not alcohol. It's an alcoholic drink. It's got from grapes, basically. And even pineapples can produce that, tea, that wine. So have a look at them. So remember, these names are local names. So different cultures. For you, could be calling it a different name in your culture. But these are some of the common names used in Uganda in some of the alcoholic drinks which are produced by fermentation. Fine. We go to the second method, our session four. Distillation method. What does it mean? What is to distill something? Can you think of that? So let me give you just a few seconds to think about the word distillation. Check with your friend. Ask your neighbor there, what does distillation mean? Fine, let's check with my here. So we're saying that distillation is a method of preparing alcohol by heating evaporating and condensing crude alcohol to form pure alcohol. The process or the method of preparing alcohol by heating, we are going to start by heating the, the fermented alcohol, evaporate it and condense it later to form what we call pure alcohol. Now, the pure alcohol here, scientific I shall be calling it a distillate. Say the word with me, distillate. Good. So when you are distilling, pure alcohol comes out first as you are going to see later on. It's simply because alcohol has got a low boiling point than water. Actually, alcohol boils at 78 degrees, while water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So you're going to realize that alcohol comes faster than water. So let's have a look at my setup experiment here. This is what we are going to be doing. So what we are going to do children here, we shall get that fermented alcohol. We keep it in a completely closed container, as you can see in this first diagram here. You keep in that container, then we are going to insert a tube. And that tube is what we're going to be calling a delivery tube. Now, direct that delivery tube to another container, which has got cold water, cold water. Then after that, apply some heat. So you are going to eat this crude alcohol here, which is fermented alcohol actually, and then it's going to evaporate. So in the first ex experiment here, in the first container here, we are going to see evaporation taking place. As you heat the fermented alcohol, it will evaporate. On evaporating, the vapor goes through the delivery tube. And that vapor is going to be very hot. Reaching the second container there, where there is, you can see the cold water there, it's going to cool and condense. So the cold water will help to cool and condense that vapor. After condensing, it's going to be collected as pure alcohol, which I told you we call a distillate. Following children, good. So we said in the first process here, we shall heat. As you heat, evaporation takes place in the first container here. It goes through the delivery tube. It goes to the second container where to find the cold water. It cools and condenses. So the cold water basically there helps in cooling and condensing the evaporated alcohol. Then you'll be asking me, why is it cold? Yeah, that's a very, very good question, children. No, it is cold to increase the surface area for condensation. So after condensing and cooling, it's going to be collected as pure alcohol. So this method of distillation is actually the one that gives us pure alcohol, highly alcoholic than the fermented alcohol. 
Great children. So, can you have a, can you think of any drink in our next session here? Any drink which can be produced by this process of distillation? Let's check with mine here. Uh-huh. We have waraj. Do you know waraj? A that kind of substance. Of course, only adults take it. We have whisk. We have rum. We have gin. We have vodka. We have iradida. There are many others which can be produced by fermentation. But these are some of the few we have managed to get for you. So all these alcoholic drinks are highly alcoholic and so on. So never try them. So I'm not going to be, I'm going to leave this an activity children here. Remember, I've been looking at the method of producing alcohol. And so there are two methods of producing alcohol. That is fermentation and distillation. So good children, I'm leaving the simple activity here. As you can see, the five numbers usual to name the process of turning water and sugar into alcohol. That's our first question. The second question, to name the method of producing pure alcohol. And the third question, to mention that fungus used to pre produce fermented alcohol. And the fourth question, to state the importance of cold water in the process of distillation. And lastly, to identify one physical process involved in the making of alcohol. Thank you for being good children. Stay Except, that's